um, something that Evangeline, I remember from previous conversations was this idea that you talked about how mentorship uh, models tend to think focus on really young people. And I, what I love about your program is that you're trying to solve this problem of like mid-career folks need mentors as well. And I know personally for me, it was something that, you know, I've always looked for a mentor and it wasn't always easy to find that some folks may have automatic channels to mentorship and your um, your 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 agency addresses that, that that's not the case for everybody. So really appreciating that. Well said, Lena. And, you know, especially, you know, bringing back, bringing it back to diversity and inclusion um, as women, you know, we, we know the glass ceiling is there and it ex ex exists. So for me, it's just heart, heartwarming to see here two strong women helping each other out um, in a way that is really effective and is results oriented. Sometimes, you know, mentorship can be just done to look good on the resume. But here, what I'm seeing is real dedication, passion and action that is resulting in good um, results, so to speak. So that's great, ladies. Thank you for sharing that story with us. And so people who are watching us can reach out to Evangeline also uh, for help with mentorship. And as you have seen with Michelle, it's really helpful and really does work. Um, and with that uh, being said, Evangeline, my question to you would be, um, how does your work impact and transform culture uh, because it is important work, but it's also a challenge to make sure that the work has an impact. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And thank you for asking me that question. You know, I think when I was initially speaking, I touched on the notion that we're not just building successful Black professionals, that we are building a movement. Um, really, truly, BMI is shaping the career trajectory of people from the minority communities. Um, one of the things that we seek to do is to change the perception of black professionals both in and out of workforce. We, a core deliverable for us for this objective for us is to engage uh, with employers. And so not just the employee, but the employers as well and help them build frameworks that cultivate inclusive thinking. Um, the elements of the BMI program uh, tr truly consists of intentional networking and knowledge sharing in the fields of education, training, concentrating on sharing personal experiences to propel um, uh, professionals to, to, to reach their career sources. Let me share a story with you, uh, and perhaps this will probably help uh, what a typical BMI day looks like. From a mentee standpoint, okay. there is a constant one-on-one -on -one coaching and support and research. Uh, bear in mind, our professionals, our mentees that come to us, uh, they are professionals in their own right. They are professionals who feel vulnerable and look for safe space and opportunity mm -hmm. to, to talk about their group need. Last year, we hosted two sessions on the sense of racism in the Canadian corporate workforce. And this was an interactive conference that um, offered professionals exactly what I've been talking about, safe space to, to, to be vulnerable. A few hours before that um, event, I received two phone calls. One call was, was from one of our BMI mentee, a professional, um, that had engaged with us. This individual that morning had an interview and they needed to talk to someone about their doubts. The doubts, of course, that stems from experiences that they've had in the past that made them feel perhaps, you know, not as bold as they would want to be. I, this person called and we spent about an hour plus on the phone where I encouraged this mentee and reminded them, of course, something they already know, how awesome and powerful they are. This individual is with us today. That's Michelle. <laughs> I got another phone call as well the same day. And this was uh, a phone call from the 
only white panelists that we had on that day. And this individual said to me, Evangeline, I'm really having a complete anxiety attack. To hear this from an only white panelist for our session was humane for me. Hmm. And it shows the importance of our work. Think about it. When lots of black professionals found themselves in situations like that, who do they call? True. Who do they reach out to support them? After providing the needed assurance and motivation, this individual went on to be one of the night's most impactful speakers, at least according to our participants. Mm. 